yes, yes, sir, I understand that. But you, you must be mistaken. A hundred employees, it's, it's, it's improbable. It's impot. You're right. It's not impossible, just improbable, and the probable can happen. <laughs> yes. I understand the steel mills are paying more over there, but here, they... They're not paying more. Then, Well, then what's our issue? No, no damn found machine will ever replace my men. You can get a hundred machines before you even think about replacing one of my men. It's not how they have families to support. I have a family to support. This is, this is, hello? How, how the hell are we going to stay alive in this industry? Some, something needs to happen. Something needs to change. Something gargantuan needs to change. Machines? Machines and tools can only go so far. Yes. Yes, building department. Yes, I know you owe me some favors. I, I need a new device built. What's the exact specifics? Make it... controlling yes i'll talk to you later everyone cherishes peace everyone cherishes serenity but not everyone cherishes the same kind of peace the definition to the word is so disconnected that one may find it hard to compare the serenity of one man to the next some serenity is nothingness others is money the pursuit of money in any possible way Lastly, there are those who cherish a kind of serenity that can only be described as chaos. For those kind of strange, stupendously malicious peoples, we have heroes, protectors, and here we see one now. Young Dick Grayson, an orphan given his fate by greed, adopted son of Bruce Wayne, an orphan billionaire. They seem rich and pompous by day, but by night they protect the city from monsters of human and supernatural alike. And here they are about to face their greatest test yet. Okay, you got it, Commissioner. Who was that? Well, Bruce, it appears the Commissioner is leaving on a trip, and it requires us to make sure nothing fishy happens. A trip? In May? It appears it's so. He's on his way to Tokyo. Tokyo, really? Strange. That also happens to be the site of numerous earthquakes like Gotham has been facing in the past two weeks. Very strange to me, my young, eventfully aware ward. Okay, sir. We're headed there now. I'm never going to get to finish this book, am I? And now our heroes rush over to the docks, as Commissioner Gordon has warned them of a mysterious transaction going on between a local crime lord Bane and an unknown buyer. Wait here, Robin. Let me use the bat sonar device to listen into the building. It's Bane, and he's talking to two of his goons. So, uh, Bane, what are you going to do with all this stuff anyway? I have no plans for it. I am simply here to make sure things go... smoothly. The goons are exiting the building. Now's our chance. Get your smoke bomb ready. 
That smoke bomb. <laughs> ah, the Batman. What about me? What about you? Just shut up and fight. Sleep spray. Bat sleep spray. Upon 30 seconds of spraying, the assailant is fully knocked out. Spill the beans, Bane. Who are you transporting us all to? I don't know. All he said was he needed these parts. If my source is correct, it's to control something. Well then who's the source? It's... It's... Crane... Jonathan! What is this equipment, Batman? The plans laid out are pretty clear. It seems to be a controlling device of some kind. Buttons, levers... All put into a helmet. But to control what? Let's call the director before we go to work again. I never had to struggle with my wealth, and yet he struggles with it every day. He doesn't deserve all that. Don't be too hard on yourself, Bruce. You're using your wealth for good as well. But is vigilanteism really a true justice in the end, Robin? I just don't know. Well, before you have a mental struggle with yourself, I suggest you warn the director and his clients. Bat phone. Dial Director Bodar. Hello, who is this? Director Bodar. I understand you are a native of Gotham City. Yes, I am. Is there an issue? You also have clients in both Tokyo and Gotham, is that correct? Why, yes, I do hold director status over those two areas specifically. We believe that someone targeted your work, possibly using the weather to make the earthquakes and the water rise and destroy your steel mills. Now, tell me, Director Bodar, has anyone you known been affected by this, harmed, you would say. No, I thought this was simply coincidental. My employees are not wealthy people. By all means, we are a struggling company. I don't see why anyone would attack us at this low. That's what we hope to find out from you, sir. Do you have any, um, enemies? None that I could think of. Okay, well, we will continue the investigation on our end. God bless, Crusaders. Good luck, sir. Stay safe. Those pesky Cape Crusaders are on to me. Luckily, they think the device I'm building is simply for the weather. No, 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 no. I am controlling something much, much more. A titan. A monster. Let's show them what we can do. Godzilla, though I cannot control your body, do me a favor and make the earth shake. Did you just feel the ground shake, Robin? Now it's a crane, but my red clad partner, now is not the time to physically confront him. He is still just a doctor. He poses no physical threat. We must go undercover for this mission. And now the dynamic duo undercover as themselves confront the psychologist Dr. Crane in his own office. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Grayson, may I ask why you called me here today? Do you have any psychological needs that need to be attended to? Well, Crane, I own the section of the docks that were part of the Bane battle last night. And a reporter told me that you could say what they were shipping. The one Batman was at. What reporter was this? He requested to remain anonymous. 
Your source was correct. I have medicine being shipped on that same dock from now and then. It's a necessary part of my routine, I'm afraid. So, who's buying it? Well, I believe it. Say, you ask quite a lot of questions, Bruce. <laughs> I'm a curious man. What can I say? Curiosity killed the cat. Well, I've I've dealt with cats before. They never said Batman was there. Let's see. Curiosity does the bat. <coughs> Medicine, you say? Pure toxin. It's a product of my design. Picks apart the frontal wall, reach into your mind, and pulling out your deepest fears. He got away! Don't be so sure, Dick. According to the papers on his desk, he has a new shipment coming in tonight. When he left, he took a can of that weaponized toxin with him. The one that sprayed out of his desk. Why would he need that? I never realized that. He's gonna attack at the docks. Exactly. When one lives the life of a detective, you must always be aware of anything and everything that can be a clue. And, of course, be careful about not disclosing details that were given to the public, such as Batman's arrival at the dock last night. Worry not, my friend. This was a learning experience. And uh, your next lesson begins soon. A lesson in kicking the butts of a deranged scientist. How does he ship his medicine in such large quantities? He must have a code name to go around. That, that doctor... He has one paper left on his desk he didn't take with him. It's a write-up about the report of the drugs. The pharmaceutical is meant to increase the physique of the brain. Yet, a side effect immediately includes the taking over of fears and utter shock under a patient. Making people have no brain. Turning them into scarecrows. That's what they are. We're nothing but scarecrows. That's horrible. We gotta make him a cowardly lion. Ah, uh, sweet serenity. Stop this madness. Do not wound what you can save. You can truly make a difference. These drugs are revolutionary. If turned the right way, they can make a difference. Your name can be engraved not because you wore some silly costume and hurt people, but because you are an American hero. Stop. Why stop when I can start the chaos? What is happening? Why aren't they spraying? Well, Crane, we clogged your pipe. While I was giving my arousing speech, my friend Robin went out back when you weren't looking. Clog the pipe. And when that gas has nowhere to go, it circles back to where its origin was and past it. Now tell me, Crane, why does that pipe lead to your mouth? If not leading to my gloves, then... No. No. No! 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 Now, Crane, last chance. Who's ordering the supplies? You idiots. How? Oh. It's Bodar! A Bodar! Bodar's the one building it! What? Bodar? Robin, he's no use to us in this state. Call him an ambulance from the Batmobile. Hey Batman, you don't actually think that he was the one that was getting attacked. I'll call Director Bodar and get to the bottom of this. I'm starting to second-guess everything. If that man, Bodar, can be so bad and yet seem so good, what are we? We're extremists in the end. No better than the filth we swore to take off the streets. Simply a catastrophe waiting to happen. Hey, don't beat yourself up. We don't create the villains. But we attract them. 
when a force as strong as us arises, one must come to meet it. I just don't know. I'll stay here with Crane. You go. Bat phone, dial Alfred. Alfred, can you run an income check on Director Bodar? I have a sneaking suspicion. Yes, sir. Shall I patch you to Bodar now? That would be great, Alfred. Thank you. Hello? Batman! I presume there is a development. Yes, we just caught Jonathan Crane. And he has several claims I would like to develop further. He said that you are behind the device they are building. Do you have any idea why he'd say this? You believe a criminal? How dare you bring these accusations against me? My company, I told you, is already struggling. We are on the verge of bankruptcy, and you believe a common thug? You must forgive me, Director. We are simply required to ask these difficult questions. I'm sorry for losing my cool. I know you only want to do what's right, but I have never met this crane fellow. Sorry to trouble you, Director. We will keep you updated. Thank you, and goodbye. What could Bodar be up to? It seems the controlling device that Bane was telling us about might just have been for Bodar. The way he spoke, the way he got so angry so fast, it makes me wonder. Gee Willikers, Batman. That sounds mighty dangerous. Bodar must be out to evil after all. It seems that way, Robin. Let's stop him before he can commit any more wrongdoings. What was that? Look, Robin, something's coming out of the water! So that's what's been causing all the earthquakes and tsunamis recently. A creature. But I'm sure it connects to Bodar, it... It's not a weather-controlling device. Robin, it's a mind-controlling device! And it's controlling that thing right there. Batman, what if that mind controlling device is used to control the mind of that monster? The world would be under his control. I'll go after Bodar myself, boy wonder. Your job is to patrol the streets and make sure the citizens are safe. And make sure that lizardly Leviathan is occupied. Yeah, I'm on it. The bat phone's going off. Master Wayne, I have ran an income check on Boda. It's, it appears that his company is near bankruptcy. It makes sense then why a man like Bodar would be going down such a maniacal path. Maniacal path? Yes, Director Bodar seems to have a mind control device and is using it to cause chaos around Gotham. Thank you. I assume the iguana on the television has something to do with it? I'm afraid so, Alfred. Wish me luck. Finally. It is complete. And now I am become death, destroyer of worlds. Not so fast, Bodar. Oh. You insufferable cake blunder. You cannot control other life forms. It's far too dangerous. You don't understand. What is there to understand? You're trying to collect insurance for your own financial well-being. No, damn it! I can crash my car for that. Burn down my house. That would just be for me. I need this insurance money for them. These poor steel mill workers. Forty years Gotham has been the forefront for steel mill business, and now they replace us with robots. Machines, no heart, no soul. You'll ruin us. You'll usurp the very makers of the world you see around you. I may sympathize with you, but why this extreme? With one quick call, I can get Bruce Wayne to supplement you. That's the thing, Batman. Loans, supplements, gifts. It's all temporal. We need men in the shops working. We need children in the school. I agree, but this isn't the way. You don't play God and punish innocent people, but they will be grateful for the opportunities that arise from this. 
doesn't matter. In 30 seconds, that creature is going to use his body heat like an atomic blast and wipe out the steel mill and anything around it. And from the ashes, a phoenix will rise, and we will once more be on top of the world. Dr. Haruo discovered it years ago, kept it hidden, one bastard to another, it led to me. Now, me and you, and soon the world will be the only ones who know about this creature. Zilla, Gojira, all these names for what I like to call it. Through it, I play God. So through this, Godzilla is born. You cannot hope to stop it, Batman. You can't hope. You'll hurt thousands. A uh, small price to pay. <laughs> you may have bested me physically. <laughs> But I have bested you mentally. Without the call I used to lure that creature here, or the device that you just broke like an ignorant brute, you have no hope of stopping it. It is the ultimate destiny. It is everything we have hoped to achieve in one foul swoop. It's doom. You don't have to. For a creature like that to hibernate like you say it does, and for that Dr. Haru fellow to know so much about it, it must be peaceful, wishing to maintain a state of equilibrium and a constant flow as it sleeps at the bottom of the ocean. It's why it's so hard to discover. It doesn't want to cause a mess. We just need to distract it. And thankfully, I can easily bypass your feeble security. Robin, I don't know if you'll get this, but I'm sending you that thing's mating call. Whoa! Is this telekinesis? Look, Bodar, it's over. There are children down there! You're condemning innocence. Tell me how to work this thing. There are children in the blast zone? It's not supposed to be that big. Machine, turn off. Godzilla, you are free! What changed your mind? I was so confident until I saw those children out there. This is all for them. A future for them to enjoy, jobs for them to work. I will not leave this event the villain. I am not a monster. I just... I don't want it to change. It was good the way it was. It was good the way it was. Odar is inside. He was trying to resurrect his company through some ounce of control. Except this ounce just so happened to weigh approximately 37 tons. Well, gee, Bruce, I say we did a mighty good job. We stopped Bane, discovered Crane, and we even stopped a seven-story iguana from destroying Gotham. Perhaps Bodar was right. Maybe we all are lost. Maybe the world will never truly be the same. And we are facing a greater down than I thought we were. What good do we really serve? We really are criminals in the long run. Bathone, are you going to stay depressed or are you ready to go? That's right, I assume. They do say that in times of change and disparity, one seeks out the negative. You're right, Robin. No rest for the weary.